Welcome today to, to Kruikin Power Station located near Oban where our 440 megawatt pump storage hydroelectric power plant. Kruikin is located at Loch Awe, uh, but hidden within side Ben Kruikin. The location for the power station was chosen because of the natural quarry at the upper reservoir which allows us to, to capture water and also the huge amount of water contained within Loch Awe makes it a natural place to build a pump storage power plant. Kruikin is, is hidden within Ben Kruikin itself and the, the power station is located on the A85 and you can drive past it and not know the power station is here. Construction started in Kruikin in 1959. The station was built by hand by the, the, what was known as the Tunnel Tigers and they came from, uh, from as far wide as, as Ireland or, or Central Europe. And the guys came to work in what was really horrendous conditions using jackhammers and, and dynamite to, to blow out the, the tunnels that you see around us. The main access tunnel, which is a kilometre long, took over a year to construct. Well, the, the beauty of Kruikin is that it's, uh, it's known as the Hollow Mountain, and that's because the whole power station is hidden within the mountain. So within Ben Kruikin it itself, you have the, the full power station, so all the equipment associated with, with generating uh, electricity is located within inside the mountain, and, and that takes up an area larger than, than a number of football pitches. So it's a significant area which has been excavated within inside the mountain. Just now we're in the main cavern of Kruikin power station. Behind me we've got the four main generators that make up the, the, the power station. So we take water from the upper reservoir at times of high demand and we take it down through the generators, create the electricity and discharge water into Loch Awe. So Kruikin has two reservoirs. We have the upper reservoir which can be filled from rainfall. So we have a, a number of tunnels that go out into the surrounding hillsides and capture all the rainfall and that naturally fills up a reservoir. But we also have the ability to pump water from the lower reservoir in Loch Awe back up to the upper reservoir to help top up the, the water. And that means that Kruikin is effectively a large battery and it stores water in the, so in the time of high demand we're able to, to use that water to generate electricity. Kruikin's a 440 megawatt pump storage power station and that's equivalent to supplying a city the size of Edinburgh. This is the control room at Kruikin Power Station and although the, the power station was constructed in, in 1965, we are still really cutting edge and you can see behind me all the computer screens that are used to, to control the power plant on a, a minute by minute basis. And here we're manned 24-7 to make sure that we can respond to the need of the grid system. So Kruikin's here really to, to keep the lights on. So when there, there's high demand in the energy system, so things like tea time peak or when a, an ad break comes on in, in the television, Kruikin's able to come on extremely quickly and help support the national grid and generate the, the power for the consumers at home. So 50 years on, we're, we're still, Kruikin's still an extremely important power station. So much so that we're, we're looking at the potential for increasing the capacity of the power station with a, with a Kruikin 2 project. I'm really proud of, of Kruikin as a power station and it's a, we have a fantastic visitor centre that, that's open to, to the public and allow every member of the public to come in and actually see the power station and, and how it works and take a trip down into to the Hollow Mountain itself.